that's actually really cool. <laughs> was mine nothing to deny who started all the guy oh, are you wasting my time all these crazy fears that ends with bloody tears oh baby we keep prepping long nights rock your body whole life don't bother the world side twerking like a vegas stripper dollar money stage mine billions in the cage fight good morning guys I usually wake up at 4 in the morning but today I got late because I have to do this video shoot. The most important thing to let you know that why I wake up at 4 because I'm a professional swimmer. Other than that I have to do academic stuff, studies and all the essay writing all that stuff and I'm working on three extra really cool projects in robotics side by side with my academics. So in order to manage all those things in my daily routine I need that extra hour every single day. So I try to finish my gym, shower and breakfast before 6 so that I'll be ready to start my day from 6 which helps me a lot uh, as per my experience. And my gym is around 5 minutes away from here so I usually run but today I have to record this video so that's why I'm walking. So I'll see you at the gym. So I have to do weight training on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. It depends actually because if I have a competition in next few month then my workout will be a little bit intense. But right now I don't have any competition so my workout is a little bit mild. So that's it and I spend mostly around 1 hour in the gym and then I get back to home. So I'll see you after 1 hour.
I prepare my breakfast, lunch and snack in the morning itself right after my gym because in my daily routine I'm pretty much busy so maybe I won't be coming back home to prepare my lunch and it saves a lot of time for me if I carry my lunch box with me so that I don't have to go back and forth from university to home. Okay, so this is the most important part for me. I don't plan my routine on a daily basis. I think it's pretty frustrating for me. So I usually plan my whole week. I have these sheets and uh, after my gym, I usually take breakfast. Then I work on my dissertation, which is my project. Then I take lunch. I read. This reading involves a lot of literature reading, IEEE papers and all the things. Then I relax and eat something. Then I work on my second project. Then I do some job applications and at around 12 I go to sleep. I don't have classes now because I just finished with my exams. But even though I have classes, these things never change. And I, I'm not kind of a guy who will study for examination like one or two months before. I usually study around five to ten days before. That's pretty okay with me. And I don't plan anything on Saturdays and Sundays because if somehow I miss during these period then I usually cover those things over here other than that I have these calendars I know we have Google calendars but uh, these are important because I have all the things planned over there but if something like this meeting or if I have to go and meet my professor or anything unexpected which I didn't knew before starting of the week so I write those down over here and that's pretty much it and I like to see things in front of me every single day so that I, I will know that okay these are the things I have to do so that's why I use paper copies rather than application or Google Calendar something like that okay so one important thing about me is like I'm not a big fan of academics and examinations, so I usually spend most of my time working on actual hands-on projects. So I usually use these folders to keep my notes organized all the time. And whatever the problem statement I'm dealing with right now, if the problem is solved, I keep those notes inside this folder. And if I'm still struggling with some problem, then I put all those things on this board so that I can continuously think on that. Other than that, I sketch a lot, uh, specifically when I'm stressed out or I'm kind of bored. So I usually sketch the characters from my favorite movies, like that's Baymax, that's real steel movie Atom character. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm done with the electronics part as for today. I will be testing these sensors tomorrow in the dynamics lab. So this is one part of my final project. Uh, my final project is about artificial prosthetic leg for the amputated people. Uh, the reason I chose that project is actually the reason is pretty big but right now I can tell you like there are around 2 million people in United States only who got amputated. and. Uh, up till 2050 it's projected that this number may double up to 3.6 million which is a pretty serious issue so i just want to come up with something really good so that people who doesn't have legs they should have 
access to such technology because as you know just imagine if you don't have any leg you cannot go to work you cannot earn money so it's kind of your whole life just collapsed so that's one of the reason i uh, chose robotics because the robotics platform has that potential to do something good in it so now we have to go to brl uh, because uh, as i am a student of university of bristol but few of my modules i have to take at university of west england because brl is located over there bristol robotics laboratory which is the biggest robotics facility in the uk so now we have to go there so see you
sorry guys cameras actually are not allowed at all inside the BRL but today is a lucky day because today we are going to take out the robots outside of BRL to test them in between people so I'll show you some footage of that hopefully I can show you that but hang on I'll get something for you was mine nothing to deny who started all the guy all oh, you wasting my time all these crazy fears that ends with bloody tears oh baby we keep prepping long nights rock your body whole life don't bother the world. now i will take one hour nap then i will go for my swimming practice and today i don't have any job application deadlines so which is good because i'm pretty tired and I will directly go to bed after dinner and this video is already long enough so that's why I'm not recording rest of it but thanks for being with me throughout the day I hope you enjoyed it I always wanted to do this but never got enough time but I must say I enjoyed making this video a lot and I work on really cool technology in my day-to-day -day life so if you guys want to know more about me or what I do how I do it then let me know by commenting down below and feel free to subscribe to my channel because I post one video every week regarding really cool technological advancement and I will really appreciate your opinions and comments on the tech videos which I will be posting so that I will also learn a lot from you and make necessary improvements to make it better. Cheers guys, have a good night. Hello friend, welcome to Chisel Works Robotics. Would you pour some wine for me? Smile for me and I grind on me.